The Islamic faith is an acceptance without argument or proof to receive inner confidence, inner satisfaction, and inner peace. So for example, in the Holy Quran, Allah says in chapter 2, verse 3, that وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ So Allah says about the true Iman, the true faith, Islamic faith is without seeing the unseen, having a faith in it. For example, Allah is unseen. How Allah controls the life and death is unseen to us. What happens after our death is unseen to us. So most of the things are unseen. And as a believer, as a faithful one, faithful in Islam, we do not question about the things that we did not see or we do not see. We accept without argument. And with that acceptance, we receive a inner confidence, satisfaction and peace. Now the person who accept the faith is called Mu'min. So the Islamic faith Islamic term is called Iman and whoever has accepted the Iman is called Mu'min, the believer. And our topic is, you know, true believer, who is a true believer. So if someone has Iman, then he is called Mu'min and in English believer. So who is a believer? So simple one is that whoever accepted Islamic faith, whoever has Islamic faith is called a mu'min or a believer. But at the same time, because it is Islamic faith and Islam is the peace, so a true believer has to have inner peace and satisfaction by accepting the Iman, the Islamic faith. If the satisfaction is not there and the doubt is still there, then that is not Islamic faith.